Hello friends, welcome to Padu's Kitchen. Today we are going to see how to make ragda patties. It's a very popular chaat recipe which can be easily prepared at home. It can be served as a snack or as an appetizer or a meal by itself. Let's get on to the recipe. The first step is to soak the white peas. I have taken one cup of dried white peas. I have already soaked it overnight. Now we are going to pressure cook this. I am adding half cup of water, turmeric powder, a teaspoon of chilli powder, salt, one crushed garlic. Mix this and pressure cook until soft. You can pressure cook even directly in the cooker. So our piece is cooked well. See how soft it is. You have to cook this until soft. Now we are going to grind half of this to a coarse paste. I am adding half of the piece. We will grind this coarsely. I have ground it coarsely. We will keep this aside. First we will heat 2 tablespoons of oil. I am adding 1 onion chopped. Saute this until onion turns golden brown. 1 green chilli. Ginger 1 inch chopped. 4 cloves garlic chopped. Saute this until onions turn golden brown. You may add a little salt to speed up the process. Now the onions have turned golden brown. I am adding 2 chopped tomatoes. Cook until tomatoes turn mushy. The tomatoes have turned mushy. I am turning off the heat. Let it cool completely then we will blend it. This has cooled completely. We will blend this to a fine paste. Our paste is ready. Heat 2 tablespoons of oil. Oil is hot now. Add a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Add the ground paste. Turmeric powder. Chilli powder. Roasted cumin powder 1 teaspoon. Coriander powder 2 teaspoons. Kitchen King Masala powder 1.5 teaspoon. Salt needed. We have already added salt to the piece to the masala. So add salt accordingly. Cook this until the raw smell of the spices goes. We have sorted this for few minutes. The raw smell of the spices have gone. Now add the ground piece we had kept aside. Add the rest of the piece. Add 1.5 to 2 cups of water. Simmer this for 5 minutes. Keep stirring now and then otherwise it will stick to the bottom of the pan. The ragda should be watery like this. This has been simmering for 5 minutes. I am turning off the heat. Garnish with finely chopped coriander leaves. Now the ragda is ready. Now we need to prepare the potato patties. I have already shown you how to make potato patties or potato cutlet. The link is in the description box or click the alphabet I on the top right corner. These are the ingredients you need for making ragda patties. Save, coriander leaves, sweet chutney, green chutney. I have given the link for all the chart chutneys in the description box or just click the I alphabet on the top right hand corner for the recipes. Finely chopped onion, ragda, patties. Now we will see how to serve ragda patties. Place the patties in a plate. Pour hot ragda over the patties. Add sweet chutney as you need, green chutney, finely chopped onions, coriander leaves, top it with save. Ragda patties is ready. Enjoy! Do like and share this post. Don't forget to subscribe to Padu's Kitchen. Also click the bell icon to get notifications as and when I post videos. Thank you.